so guys today we're going to be making this delicious crunchy and yet chewy rock buns recipe you don't want to miss out on this so guys if you are new here you know what to do help me subscribe to my channel so these are the ingredients which we'll be using you can pause the video to look at everything first i start off by sifting the flour you don't want to use your flour like that you want to sift it because i find out there are usually warm or hair or dirt in the flour so you want to sift it to be on a safer side then i'll begin adding the sugar the salt the nutmeg the baking powder and i'll whisk everything all that i've added were the dry ingredients so i'll use my hand whisk to whisk everything properly then i'll make a little well in the middle for the eggs milk and butter Mind you, you can also use water for this, only water without using egg, milk or butter if you don't have money for all this. So I will just add the butter, the eggs rather, then I'll add my evaporated milk. This is Hollandia evaporated milk, very creamy milk. Then I will add the butter, the melted butter. Then I will use a wooden spatula to mix this properly. You want to mix this gently so it does not splash or pour on your body so take notes at this point i've not added any water and like i said earlier on you can only you can also use only water for financial purposes if you don't have money or you're making for commercial um this thing business for your business so i'll just add in some cold water at this point because i noticed that the dough was too hard so i'll just continue mixing then don't worry i will show you the right consistency to aim for this was so delicious so this is what you should be aiming for this is the stretchy consistency you should be aiming for look at it. it's very beautiful so you want to cover this at this point and allow it to rest for about 15 minutes 15 minutes later this is what our dough looks like very stretchy not too so hard not too so watery so for those of you who do not know how to get the perfect round shape of bones this is how to get it take a little bit of the dough a little portion just use your palms the your hands to make a circular motion like let it be circle make a circular shape then you place everything on a greased plate this plate is greased so that it does not stick make sure you put water on your hands before you start this process so that it neither sticks on your hands or in the plates so this is what it looks like so it is time to fry this dough so this is the oil this oil has been heating up it is moderately hot if it is too hot then it will brown outside so quick and it won't cook through and if it is too cold then it will absorb too much oil which you don't want so you just want this oil to be moderately hot you can see how i'm dumping this dough into the oil gently you don't want it to splash on your body guys this was so so delicious please make sure you give this a try like just give it a shot it was so so delicious and i won't want you to miss out on this so three minutes later i'll just use my spoon to separate this from the bottom of the pot because you will notice that the bones will start sticking to the pot so you just want to use your spoon to separate everything so it fries normally so you notice that will start floating to the top later on and you just want to keep on stirring it so that they can cook evenly look at how brown and crispy that is so guys i lined the paper towel on a plate so that it can drain the remaining oil which is on the bones away because you don't want any oil in these bones you don't want it on the bones neither do you want it inside the bones so i will just drain out the excess oil and i'll repeat the process again fried remaining batches then that's it you can see how beautiful it is looking look at those cracks on some of them that's what you need this is rock bones this is it so guys if you enjoyed watching this video you know what to do click on the like button click on the subscribe button thank you all and see you in my next one